The largest ever Ebola epidemic forced governments, aid organizations and research institutes to act quickly. With the shortest possible notice, the Ebola TX Research Consortium, led by the Belgian Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp, set up a clinical trial to evaluate the efficacy of convalescent plasma therapy, boosting the immune system of Ebola patients with antibodies from the blood of recovered patients. The European Union-funded study took place at the Guinean National Blood Transfusion Centre, which got support from the French Blood Transfusion Service, and at the Donka Ebola Treatment Centre of Médecins Sans Frontières in Conakry, Guinea. We have patients that have survived Ebola, and in their blood there is defense, antibodies, against the Ebola virus. What we try to do is take this blood from the patients, we separate the red blood cells from the plasma, and in the blood plasma, the defense, the antibodies, they are there. Although convalescent plasma therapy is a well-established technique used for several other infectious diseases, there had never been enough patients for a trial according to international scientific and ethical standards until the latest outbreak. L'un des grands avantages du plasma, c'est que il n'est pas acheté, mais il est donné volontairement par des personnes guéries d'Ebola. This project could not have been possible without the active involvement of Ebola survivors. Jean Pécoli became a representative of the Survivors Association in the Ebola TX project. Donc nous pensons que les personnes guéries de chaque communauté sont bien placées pour sensibiliser leur communauté parce que eux ils ont vécu les faits donc ils peuvent bien transmettre le message non seulement sur la maladie mais évidemment ce qui se passe au niveau du centre de traitement. Donc raison pour laquelle des personnes guéries se sont données activement pour donner du placement pour essayer de sauver leurs compatriotes. Nearly 40 years after the first Ebola outbreak and against all odds, the Ebola TX project has finally provided scientific insights into whether antibodies in the blood of Ebola survivors can be used to treat symptomatic patients. This is crucial information in view of future epidemics. Oh, yeah.